Hi everyone, this is Eileen from Northern Light Tarot. I hope you're all doing really well. So the title of this reading is, What does he want to say to you right now? His deepest feelings revealed. So for this reading, please picture your person in your mind. Imagine them. And then choose between these three sets of cards here. This is set of cards number one. This is set of cards number two. And this is set of cards number three. So I'll just give you a moment to do that now. Okay, so right now I'm gonna place aside set of cards number two and a set of cards number three so, I can go ahead now with this, a set of cards, number one. What does he want to say to you right now? His deepest feelings. So this is going to be an in-depth Celtic cross reading, looking deep into your person's feelings and energies uh, regarding you and what they, you know, they truly want to say to you. So, let's go ahead now. So first of all, I'm going to shuffle this deck several times. going to split this deck and place these cards down. So <clears throat> this card represents your person, the situation, the crossing card or help or hinder card, subconscious hidden energies, past or near past, external energies, future or near future, feelings, environment, hopes, wishes and fears, and the outcome card, never to be taken in the literal sense, but to be interpreted. And here is our clarifying card from the Lover's Oracle deck. I'm also going to take some cards from my mini deck for feelings and messages. We'll take two. Okay, so let's go ahead with this reading now. Right at the center. Oh, we have the Three of Swords, heartbreak, very, very deep feelings, very clearly. You know, we wouldn't see the Three of Swords unless exceptionally you know, oh, I feel it. I feel there's pain involved here. Now, immediately we do see that for some of you out there, either you or your person are presently with another person, okay? The Three of Swords can absolutely mean that. Um, we have the Swords Energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, now, what I do want to say is that the Three of Swords can, it doesn't have to be, you know, a third party situation. Um, it could be somebody who is just feeling very heartbroken because of what's gone wrong between you two. Um, and there's a lot of pain associated with the Three of Swords. Um, let, let's continue. Um, we have the barriers, the boundaries. You know, the culprit here could actually be your person, 
we have the emperor energy so this does represent barriers boundaries it can also you know which could be the third party um also can represent somebody who feels the need to control the narrative and i feel in this case it's to their own detriment this person may have absolutely ghosted you this person may be in no contact with you right now but you need to know that they are heartbroken that is a very strong clear message coming through here um we've got some fiery energy coming through yes you see the eight of swords it's kind of like they're their own worst enemy here because there's so much that they want to say to you but they are the ones who are abiding to boundaries or have put the boundaries in place you know they want you to know that they are heartbroken let's continue queen of wands they want you to know that now we've got some clashes coming in okay there could have been a an argument a disagreement it could have been quite a you know significant one okay um however there's something here about you standing your ground. Are you are you a fire sign? A Leo, Aries, Sag, or is it somewhere in your chart? Um, there's something here about you having had to stand your ground at a certain point also. Okay. Um, we've got some very strong energies here, but I feel like everything, with, the, with this emperor energy crossing this, it's kind of like, nothing's out in the open okay with this emperor energy uh let's continue yeah nothing is out in the open the four of pentacles this is holding on tight okay um the it's kind of like they're in lockdown they're in closed down here We've got Earth energy coming through now, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I want to take three cards in this past position. There's something here about you needing to trust your instincts regarding this. Um, you know you you have an instinct and a feeling regarding what this is and how he really feels and you must trust that um we, we've got a big block happening here um let's take three more eight of wands oh my goodness the wheel of fortune and the ten of pentacles you are the one this is what he wants to say you're the one i feel it's destined i feel it's fated i feel it's gonna happen it has to happen you're the person i want to be with you're the person I want to spend my life with. Ten of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, and the Eight of Wands. Let's take this card. Transformation. I always say don't be worried and concerned. You know, about these scary looking cards. This is the card of transformation. It's powerful very very powerful they want you to know they want to transform things okay um let's take three going forwards mm. 
Oh my goodness. They are obsessed with you. The Six of Swords. Oh my goodness. There's something about having to leave in order to go towards you. Okay? This is too powerful. They f they want you to know that, that their home and their heart is with you. The Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles aligned. We could be dealing with a, a water combination. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Let's continue. They want you to know that there's some time involved here. Um, before they can move forwards, the three to the four of swords. Oh yes, the ace of pentacles. They want to manifest with you. This is all about brand new beginnings and building things up and taking them to the next level, okay? Um, hopes, wishes, and fears. The two of cups. They're completely in love with you. It's very clear to me. This is about them wanting to have a beautifully balanced connection with you, okay? Now, I'm going to take these final cards before I do. I just want to mention if you would ever like personal reading with me, all of those details to book are in the description box below. Book via Etsy or PayPal. And I also offer a reading which is available uh, seven days a week um, and has a turnaround time of within 24 hours. And all of those details to book are in the description box below. Um, now, I really want to see these final messages, okay? So we have, oh, there it is. I, I love you so much, words cannot describe. And they are hopeful. The things can and will transform here, okay? Um, oh, are they coming for you? They're coming towards you. Very energetic. Very, very powerful energy here. The Knight of Wands. And we have, oh, there it is. The Secret of Myra energy. Somebody has deeper feelings for you than they are presently letting on. There it is. That was a very powerful start. Um, and I really, really hope that you found this helpful. If you did, uh, if you subscribe, then you will catch my next reading. I've also started to do live readings with some free, um, you know, free, uh, free readings on there. Uh, I've only done one so far, but I'll be, I'll be coming back on to do a live, hopefully within the next week. So right now I'm going to move on to set of cards number two. Okay, so right now I'm gonna move on to this set of cards number two. What does he want to say to you right now? His deepest feelings revealed. So this is gonna be an in-depth Celtic cross reading, looking deep into your person's energies to look into all of these questions, okay? So having said that, let's go ahead now and Shuffle this deck several times. Oh, 
Okay, so let's now place these cards down. So this card represents your person, the situation, the crossing card or help or hinder card, subconscious hidden energies, past or near past, external energies, <clears throat> future or near future, feelings, environment, hopes, wishes and fears, and the outcome card, never to be taken in the literal sense, but to be interpreted. Here is our clarifying card from the Lover, Lover's Oracle deck. And I'm going to take a couple of cards here from my mini deck. Let's go ahead now. Right at the center, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So I see you here. I see you here. Um, and the way your person is seeing you, there's something here about you feeling as though you, you may be out of reach okay uh, there's something here about the need for freedom um there's something here about glorious kind of fulfillment it is kind of like they just want to devour you okay um they're they are ve they are very very attracted to you um let, I want to actually take three more straight away here. Um, they want you to know. Oh my goodness! It's it's okay. I'm, I'm suddenly getting something regarding for, forbidden energies. Um, I'm also getting just. Uh, they feel like like in some sort of awe of you it's kind of like you tantalize them that they <coughs> they they can't stop thinking about you okay there could be a distance from you um let's let's take two more there could there could be the, ah, I'm getting something here to do with travel for some of you that there's no doubt about that um oh the three of swords is here okay so this is about something to do with the forbidden energies um yeah uh, that is for, for for some of you absolutely that message is being affirmed um we have oh my goodness yeah this this is about just how powerfully they are feeling about you right now like you are the empress there's something here about september august and september is very very significant here for some of you um there's something here about fertility babies um that they want to they literally want to marry you um that there could be something about a very very strong decision i'm getting that um they don't want to let you go Oh, the Knight of Wands. Okay, that that they're very very passionate about you. Um, undoubtedly, I feel some of you should maybe go back and look at set of cards number one because we're getting heavy, heavy energy. Um, similar energy in both readings. Okay, they're very very passionate about you. They want you. Um, but they may not be truly speaking up right now okay um you could be a virgo uh they could be literally an aries 
uh, or any fire sign. Uh, Leo, Aries, Sag, you could be any earth sign. Uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, we've got strong air uh, in here. Double air, uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra so far. Um, we've also clearly got Cups energy because we've got broken hearts here. Okay. Um, this is the, there's something here about freedom and choice. Um, but let's continue. Um, they want to tell you just that there is clear heartbreak here. Okay. They, they, they just want to tell you how strongly they feel. You know, this is the big message. Um, and what we've got here is something's got to give. Okay. We've got the tower energy. Okay. They know that something has to give, something has to tra literally transform. Okay. It's like the fall followed by the building up or the rebuilding. Okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, let's continue. The sun. Oh my goodness. You're the light of the life, very strongly. There, there's something here that's coming through so strongly about just this um, incredibly deep level of uh, attraction that they've never experienced ever before in their life, okay? And they've never experienced it, ever. Um, you know, the, there's, they just, Oh, it's, it's so hard to put to words. They, they just think about all of you all of the time. Um, let's continue. Oh my goodness, this card was in the same place in set of cards number one. For those of you who chose set of cards number two here, you need to go back to set of cards number one. Okay. Um... It's incredible, it's very, very passionate. What can I say? The, the, the connection between you two is off the scale. And yet there's something that needs to give. And they want you to know that there's, there's this energy here of them doing whatever it takes. They want you to know they're gonna do whatever it takes, okay? Even if everything has to crash down, okay? Oh, four swords. Um, that now I feel like for some of you, this set of cards, that uh, there's something here to do with that there could have been an actual, it did kind of come through in set of cards number one. Also, there's, there could have been a split. That Or there's like this building up energy of them making their way towards you to the Ten of Cups. There it is. They just want to be with you. They're completely in love with you. Ten of Cups. Oh, we've got, we've got, you know, these two sets of cards so far. We've got a lot of love going on. A lot of love. They just want you to know that they love you. And for many of you, they're lost without you. Okay. It's just coming through so strongly here. Um, Ten of Cups, you emotionally tick every single box. They feel so connected to you. They've never felt this way about anybody. But they feel... It, it's kind of like... It's, it's emotional, but it's... It's the minds connecting. It's, it's the energy bond. The energy bond here is incredible. Um, oh, the emperor and the king of cups. Oh, and the three of cups. They wanna reunite with you. They know there's barriers and boundaries in the way. They miss you. 
they just want to be with you please understand me right now please understand the barriers and the boundaries um but know that whatever the barriers and the boundaries are that i love you and i can't wait until i see you again okay i won't let anything stand in the way okay um you're the missing pentacle you're the you're you're they don't feel complete without you physically standing beside them they just like they dream of you yeah you are the only justice to them very very clearly okay I just got like for some of you they need to there's like a legal process they need to go through so that they can be with you it could be literally a divorce um for some of you them they they may be being somehow manipulated by this process um and they often i feel like they're feeling the frustration here um they are just they're just so drawn to you and they're definitely if there's distance they're traveling to you they're coming to you okay um let's take a look yeah transformation transformation it keeps coming through they want things to transform the death energy there there it is um right okay so now i'm gonna take these final cards um before i do i just want to mention if you would ever like a personal reading with me all of those details to book are in the description box below book via etsy or paypal I offer a reading with a 24 hour turnaround available seven days a week. Um, if you subscribe, you will, um, you know, catch my next reading. Um, and I've just started uh, to, to go live as well. So, uh, and when I go live, I do offer free readings um, for anybody who happens to, you know, appear in, you know, in, in, in the chat. Um, while i'm going to be doing those live readings so um if you subscribe then you if you're around then you could get notified um especially if you hit that notification bell um of when i'm actually live so having said that i really want to see what these final cards are now so let's take a look we have oh beautiful uh, they feel that this is destined this is what they want you to know um, and yes, they are stressed, okay? This is associated with this justice energy, okay? And the depth of their emotion and feeling for you with this Ten of Cups. And we have, oh, beautiful, it did keep coming through. Um, transformation, your relationship, with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things and we also have the nine of wands the wounded warrior the wounded warrior may understand the barriers and the boundaries and may even need to adhere to them at times but the the nine of wands this wounded warrior is very very persistent in their goals okay this is what you need to know so uh that was set of cards number two and i really hope that you found it helpful i'm going to move on now to set of cards number three
Okay, so. Right now, I'm moving on to this. Set of cards, number three. What does he want to say to you right now? His deepest feelings revealed. So, let's get started. Uh, first of all, I'm just going to shuffle this deck several times. And this is going to be an in-depth Celtic cross-reading. Looking deep into your person's energies, feelings, and looking into, you know, this very question. What does he or she uh, want to say to you right now? So... Let's now place these cards down. So, this card represents your person, the situation, crossing card or help or hinder card, subconscious hidden energies, past or near past, external energies future or near future, feelings, environment, hopes, wishes and fears, and the outcome card, never to be taken in the literal sense, but to be interpreted. Here is our oracle card, and I'm also going to take a couple of cards from my deck, feelings and messages. Okay, so let's go ahead now. Right in the center. Oh my goodness. So this is powerful, okay? This is about making a very strong choice and decision. It's about, <coughs> pardon me, your person being in the driving seat of their life and you know, literally storming towards you. They, what I get here is they, and the, the chariot is, is about a, a strong decision. They choose you. This is what they want to say to you. I choose you, okay? Very strongly. It's very vibrant energy as well. It's kind of like a very positive energy that's coming through here. I want to take three more now. Okay, let's take a look. Oh my goodness, somebody from your past. Okay. So for some of you, I'm getting so many messages right, right now. So for some of you, this is somebody, you two fell in love 20 years ago, 10 years ago, 30 years ago. For some of you, th this is the person that you fell in love with at college, at university at around that age, okay? This is the person that you were in love with, they were in love with you. Time, circumstance, it all got in the way, okay? Um, this is about the sun shining on you too. They want you to know they never ever forgot about you. They want you to know and now I'm also, like, there's so many messages, but what I'm getting here is that there's something here about the connection between you two. It's very deep. It's very heartfelt. And um, this is why they just instantly, they just know it's you. They choose you. They always chose you. From the moment that you two connected, it was always you. 
okay? They felt it. Something happened with inside them and there was there was no going back, okay? Um, let's continue. Nine of Wands, yeah, persistence and justice. Uh, like it, it messes with their mind, okay? Like how, how strong this is and how much you mean to them. It, and uh, when I say it messes with the mind, it's because it takes over the mind, okay? Because it's so important, because you are so important. Uh, there is no justice without you. We've got like an uh, uh, fire kind of energy going on here. Aquarius, a Gemini, Libra, Leo, Aries, Sag. We've got cups in there as well. We've just got it all going on, okay? Um, it's about love. It's about desire. It's about justice. Very, very clearly here. For some of you, it's two earth signs. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. And you're always destined to find each other. Okay? Uh, let's continue, yeah, Six of Wands, card of success. It's, they find you all-consuming and they want you to know. They, they are not giving up on this connection. They are not giving up on where this can travel to, okay? This can be, this can be about marriage proposals, Okay. Um, yes, there it is. Two of Cups, they're in love with you. This can be about marriage proposals. This is how powerful this is. This is all they think about. You are their dream. Um, Nine of Pentacles. Freedom. Freedom of choice. Um, this is also, it's kind of like the way that they have they've been imagining you and dreaming of you for so long it's kind of like you are the goddess now okay you are the goddess to them there is nobody else this vibrance is just really jumping out at me um let's take a look yeah they they want to marry you ten of pentacles the nine to the ten they can't imagine you being with anybody else except with them. Okay? And this is what they want you to know. This is what they really want to say to you. Now there's going to be very, very many different situations and circumstances going on here. Okay? Things could even be on the low and hidden. And they want things out into the open. Um, this Six of Cups tells me that they've just fallen for you. Um, this person could be from 30 years ago in your life. Could be from three days ago. Uh, it's just that they've decided. I feel like for some of you that like they don't want to tell you just how strongly they feel in case they kind of scare you away. So be aware of that as well. If someone seems to be kind of like not showing themselves fully to you, okay? Yeah, the world energy. The most successful, highest card in the entire deck of tarot. There it is future position completion so there could have been some distance in time in space distance physical distance emotional distance um but it's all coming back around oh yeah proposals there it is ace of cups i've done three sets of cards this is the third, this is the first time we've seen the Ace of Cups. This, and um, it's the first time that I, 
it came through that this could be a bad proposal and here it is the offer this is about you know a marriage proposal oh my goodness and the lovers oh my goodness these energies they speak they really speak um they just want you in their lives they're desperate for you they're desperate for you okay absolutely let's take a look oh and the death energy I have to say um i'm sure this card came out in set of cards number two in this position apologies if i'm wrong it may be worth you going back and looking at set of cards number two okay that was all about transformation and yeah i'm sure it was here um it may be worth if this is resonating for you maybe go back to set of cards number two also we've got transformation here okay something's got to give here and i feel like it's got a positive real positive vibe to it okay so what i want to do now is take these final cards i also just need to mention if you would ever like a personal reading with me all of those details are in the description box below book via etsy or paypal i offer a reading which is available seven days a week with a 24-hour turnaround all those details below uh, if you subscribe you will you know be notified of my next reading on here if you especially if you hit that notification bell and also i've just started to go live to do free readings for you and you know anyone who asks me uh you know in the chat uh if they'd if they have a question needs to be answered i've only done one live so far but i really want to start doing more of those and again so if you subscribe and hit the notification bell then you will you know if you're free and i happen to go live then you know you'll have a chance to uh, receive a little mini free reading from me um so having said all of that i really want to see what these uh final uh cards these final messages are now so let's take a look very see this has come through this whole reading your person is very determined there it is and we have okay crushed so for some of you uh this nine of pentacles can represent that you know the could the could have been a split and they are crushed and now they want to transform things so that's certainly a message for some of you and we have oh there it is romance cupid's arrow strikes they've fallen for you absolutely fallen for you oh yeah and without you they are crushed absolutely seven of pentacles this is the kind of like the card of well what's the point of anything if i can't have my person and that person is you this is what they really want to say to you this is how they really feel so there we go uh, that's what's come through and i really hope that you found this reading helpful okay then bye